Welcome to the AE Juice tutorial. Here we'll look at a package of seamless transitions. And let's find out how to apply transitions to videos. There are many categories of transitions in this package. They're suitable for a wide variety of videos and different editing points. Before we start adding transitions to our video, I'll talk a little bit about the settings. I'll hit the pause button so I don't get distracted by the previews. Here on the right, you can adjust the scale of these previews. Moving on, the first icon is a set of tools of the AE Juice plugin. This button is for the zoom category of transitions. Here we can filter our transitions. Let's choose the direction upwards. And now only transitions with this direction are displayed here. Let's choose some more filters. And as you can see, all transitions with a given direction of movement are displayed. I choose Show All to reset the filter. Next, you can choose where to soften the transition animation. In, In plus Out, Out. Here you can set the transition length. The available values are displayed in this list. The default setting is 1 second. In this setting, you can add some shake effect to your video during the transition. There are seven modes available. Next, you can set motion blur. Now it is on and you can turn it off by selecting 0% or reduce its effect by selecting 50%. Now let's talk about transition styles. There are 11 styles to choose from. Here's the default style with no additional effects. Then there are exposure, glow, chromatic aberration, several styles with these effects combined, 360 colors as well as neon light and monochrome. We'll come back to them a little later. Here are three more tools to speed up your work in After Effects. Now let's look at our video. I'll drag the playhead where the videos join. I'll choose a transition and then choose a style for it. And now I just click on the import button. Here on the timeline, you can also change the transition length. Let's take a look at the result. I think it turned out great. I'll add one more transition. Now I will select a transition from another category and set a different style for it. I click on the import button again and I will change the duration of the transition. Well, that's a great result. The video became more dynamic with the transitions applied. And it only took a few seconds. Quick and easy. And as you would have noticed, these transitions contain sound. This is a cool feature that will improve the sound design in your videos. Now let's move to Premiere Pro and apply the transitions here. In Premiere Pro, there are two versions of the Seamless Transitions Pack. Each version has its own advantages and you can use either of them. Now let's start with the legacy version. Let's preview the original video. I simply place the playhead at the junction of the two videos and now I'll use the filter. Here you can filter transitions by render speed and specific features such as bounce, motion blur, target zoom and wiggle. You can also choose a specific direction of motion, rotation or zoom. This allows you to quickly find suitable transitions if you want to reset the filter, simply click the clear roll button. OK, I'll select the right direction and import a transition from the simplified category. Done! You can easily move the transition along a timeline. And it will work anywhere you place it. If you don't want to use the built-in sound effects, simply go to the settings and disable the import of sound effects. The main feature of the legacy version is faster import and the ability to easily move the transition along the timeline. However, it has fewer effects and settings options, as well as fewer transitions. If you encounter any issues while using the legacy version, you can switch over to the Mogut version using this button. Now let me tell you about the Mogut transitions. If you've already used transitions in Premiere Pro, make sure you have the latest plugin version installed and the transitions pack reloaded. In the new update, we've added many new features and improvements. In the Mogut version, you have three options for applying a transition. Simply drag the transition onto the timeline to the desired place. 
The plugin will automatically find the cut between two videos and align the transition to the nearest junction. Select two footage clips and click the import button. Set the playhead to the desired place and press the import button. Feel free to use any import method you like. After importing, you no longer need to transfer the video to a placeholder. It happens automatically. Now let's see how the MOGA transitions work. I import the first one by simply dragging it onto the timeline near the junction. Now I select the next two footage clips and find the next transition. The second transition is from the special category target zoom. I import it and use a new feature to change the zoom point. By clicking on this icon, you need to select a spot on your image. Done! With just two clicks, we've achieved the perfect target zoom transition. If during editing you decide to move the transition points or duplicate a transition, no problem. Just click on this icon and the plugin will automatically update the transitions. Before doing that, make sure to select one or multiple transitions on the timeline. If you click the icon without selecting anything, all transitions on the timeline will update automatically. Now let's change the transition speed. You can increase it up to two times using this slider in the plugin settings or in the essential graphics panel. By adjusting the settings on the plugin panel, all settings for this transition are saved even after subsequent imports. So you only need to adjust the transition once and apply it as many times as you want with the selected settings. Apart from all this, all transitions have additional effects available. I'll open the Essential Graphics panel and enable one of them. You can adjust transitions both in the plugin and on this panel. Done! We have a video with cool transitions and most importantly, now you know how to effectively and quickly use the Seamless Transitions Pack in Premiere Pro. You always have quick access to all AE Juice tutorials through this button. I've also made a comparative table of the two versions of Seamless Transitions, so you can visually see the advantages of both versions. For basic transitions, you can use the Legacy version. However, if you want more control over the transitions, I recommend using the Mogut version. Now you're ready to create your own project with AEJuice.